Hi, I'm Ellen McCauley. I'm at Pray It Up in Syracuse, New York, and yes, it is a Wednesday night, but we're having it tonight because of sixth grade graduation. I'd like to start tonight by saying that next week is our last night of session 13. Now, for those of you who aren't familiar with Pray It Up, each session is six months. Six months. So, session 14 will begin our seventh year. And when we're done with seven, session seven, Pray It Off would have been around seven years. If you would have asked me in January of 2008 what I would think about session 14, I'd be like, are you kidding me? I'm trying to get through the next 14 days, not the next 14 sessions. And then there's people in the group tonight who were there with me at session one. People in the group, session two. We've, we've had a great batch of people who started with session 13. Now there might be some people in this room or even people watching the blog who might say, you know what, I'm done. I'm just going to quit. I'm, I just can't do this anymore. Just this whole watching what I eat and trying to move more, it's just too much. I'm just going to quit. Tonight's entire meeting is devoted to all of us who at one time or another just wanted to quit. Now I'm going to take a vote. Has anyone here, not just pray it off, but have you ever wanted to quit worrying about your weight, watching what you eat, or exercising? Anyone ever want to quit that? Oh my gosh, all of you in Blockland, everybody raised their hand. I think there might have been one holdout who really wanted to quit, but she didn't want to raise their hand. <laughs> but let's talk about it. How many people have given up before they even have started? I, I know a lot of people who give up because just the mere thought of it, just the mere thought of watching what we eat and moving more is daunting. What this article here says, what to do when you want to quit your weight loss plan, is refocus on your goals. Now one session I had everyone write your goals down. Another session I had everyone do a contract. I'm not going to have an official <laughs> writing the goals or an official contract. But I am going to encourage you to write your own personal goals down. One of the things I'm visualizing that I want to do for myself for session 14 is I have a blank bulletin board. And I want it to be my pray it off session 14. You know, maybe a before picture, maybe some goals, maybe different things I want to do. Think of a bulletin board, even if it's only in your mind. Write down what your goals are before session 14. I'd like to maintain my weight, or I'd like to lose 10 pounds, or I'd like to, at the end of the session, be able to walk three miles at once. Just write down some goals. And make sure you like what you're doing. You know, I don't propose a specific diet plan. I don't say this is a Weight Watchers diet or a paleo diet or, or a Mediterranean diet. We've talked about different ones. We've talked about paleo. But it seems to me that if you focus, and I look at the people who've been the most successful, they've pretty much focused on just eating a little less, moving more over time. I do think that some people need to look at a less carb diet. Some people need to find a little bit more variety with fruits and vegetables, but find something you like to do. Also, it says to find like-minded friends. Well, we have a whole room of them. Pray It Off is a whole room. I've had more people, especially from session 13, say, you're not going to move my table, are you? Because I really, I said, oh, I did that once. I said, I'm going to mix up the tables, and it was like heresy. People were like standing. They were like holding up signs, down with Ellen, down with the yoke. They said, no, I, 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 I was like this. I will not change the tables. That will not happen, so those of you... Now, there's other people that might want to change their tables, see me secretly, and I'll say it was all my idea, and you had nothing to do with it. Also, make a list of why you need to lose weight, and be specific. Tony always laughs at the group, the group uh, questions, because I'll say, uh, what do you like the most about Pray It Up? Be specific. So I'm going to ask you to do that. Make a list of why you need to lose weight and be specific. Feel better. Health. This. Grandchildren. Go on and on and on. Why? 
why you need to lose weight, write it down. Then it talked about that vision board. I like the sounds of that. One person showed me in the group where they wrote down all the things they didn't eat on the back of the log. It was amazing. All the things this person did not eat. Anyone else do it and I might have missed it, wrote down what they didn't eat. Try doing that. There's great power in that. When I look back at that graduation party, it was that Friday night, I could write a whole list of things. Because I, I looked, it was like I was shopping, you know. I was like, hmm, what's that? You know, looking at everything. People were just going around shoving things on their plate, and I'm going, 200 calories, 300 calories, 400 calories. <laughs> I, I'm like, got a mental calculator up. I have this, if I do that. But really, Write down what those things are. On the vision board, board, have inspirational quotes. I don't know about you guys, but I love inspirational quotes. I love them. <laughs> Check with your doctor. You know, maybe you haven't been in a while. And one of the things that I'm definitely going to do in session 14 is I'm going to ask my doctor to make a referral for a nutritionist. My insurance will pay for it. I want to go and anything I learn, I will share with the group. Try new exercise routines. We talked about Zumba. Hey, somebody else told me they downloaded the Couch to 5K. They're doing great with it. If you don't do anything, it's not going to help. That's all I'm going to say about that. Find new tools. Anyone ever like look at their phone or their iPad and go, I'm going to go to the app store and see what's free. There's so many free apps. You could app yourself crazy, you know? Anything. How many people have ever Googled like calorie counters? You can type in everything that you, if you don't want to do the food log, I'd say at least 10 people in the group do their own, print it out, and hand it in. You do not have to use this form. If you have an app that you like that prints it out, you can use that. I, it's fine. Remake your favorite recipes. It's funny, I, I went to another party and this person had this guacamole with some shrimp on it. I, I, it was like my new crack. You know, I had to be careful because I'm a, I never had anything better. In 2008, I would have looked at guacamole and gone, I don't want it. Guacamole. And you might say, well, there's some calories in guacamole. Moderation. Everything in moderation. And give your permission, self permission to make a mistake. Refocus your goals. Try new recipes, new exercise routines, a vision board to renew your enthusiasm towards the weight loss process. Remember that weight loss takes time, effort, and patience. We really need to renew our enthusiasm. That's what session 14 is going to be all about, is renewing that spirit that we're going to use. I'm going to stop right there, Bobby.